I put this picture up here just to remind me of where what was being offered before the FAST came out um, a little less than two years ago. And uh, the traditional open procedure. And you can only imagine the, the, size of, the size of incision that is and the amount of trauma that is done to tissue. And this is where the FAST technique has been a big win because, as you can see on the handheld device being passed out, we're talking about three millimeters in diameter, uh, an 18 gauge needle, if you will, to treat tendinosis instead of a, an inch or, or, or larger incision. So about the FAST, this is a nice thing about the FAST is before the FAST, you know, as a non-op sports med doc, what I was offering was, you know, the dry needling, uh, uh, you know, the fenestration technique as well as PRP. But the current data on that from uh, up to 2012 is, is it's around 30 to 50% success rate. And it's all over the board, especially with PRP, you know, what protocols and what instrument you're using to, to get your PRP. Um, and to be honest with you, it's not as consistent as the FAST. And it's, you're, you know what you're going to get from a, as long as you know how to use the equipment and use ultrasound, you get pretty consistent results. Um, we're, uh, we were talking about this before the talk. It's FDA approved. You know, PRP is still considered experimental. It is being reimbursed. Um, it's cost effective. It's safe. Uh, it, there's so many pluses to it. It's minimally invasive. For example, the 18 gauge needle incision, a lot of times when they come back a week or two, you don't even see where the, where the procedure was done. And the nice thing about it is it can be done in your office or if you so choose at an ambulatory surgical center. 